Imagine you are somewhere inside a, a disk and you want to know your exact position. You can do that if you have a satellite moving along the boundary of the disk and sending signals all around. These signals form circles like ripple in the water. We call these circles signal circle. Among them there is a special circle, the one who gets P in the position. We call this special circle last circle. The signal sent from satellite A carry information. The first one is the position of the satellite when the signal was sent. The second is the exact time of departure of the signal. When the signal gets P, that is the receiver in his position, the receiver from his watch can find the time of arrival. From these two data, he can evaluate the duration of the journey of the signals from the satellite, from the satellite A to his position. If he knows the speed of the signals, he can also evaluate the radius of this last circle. So now he knows that he is somewhere inside the disk but on this circle. Of course, it's not enough. The receiver, to find his exact position, needs another satellite, at least another one. So, this is the position of the receiver this is the last circle coming from the information from satellite A. Now, let's imagine there is another satellite, satellite B. If the receiver repeats the same process with the signals from satellite B, he will find another last circle, like this. And now, you can say that his position is exactly where these two circles cross, here. With a little bit of math, he can compute his exact position.